Lee says, some advice, please. I need a way to store images in a set of folders labeled like events, dogs, food, cafe, et cetera. Uh, I need to tag photos with uh, what the photo contains and then for a set of users to be able to use keyword searches. My initial thought was obviously SharePoint the, you know, using the tag search bit, but it has them stumped. Any thoughts? Okay, look. Personally, I'm using OneDrive because it's got a lot of that auto put in that when you type, it'll just search for it and find anything with, you know, dog because it's really built more into the OneDrive space than it is in the SharePoint space. So, you know, when you're talking from a, it, it is there, but it's not as. Well, I'm saying like, well, OneDrive kind of is. Is uh, yeah, it but, it yeah. is, but it's been specifically designed into under <laughs> photos. So because it's got the proper photo repository um, right. that's been built into built into OneDrive. So there's there come yeah. some challenges, yeah. Well, the, it, which is also important if you have different file types, different mm -hmm. image types. Uh, uh, you know, so we're we're doing the same thing. Whereas a family, uh, where you know, two of my kids were, were born more in the film era uh, and two in the digital era. And so we're now collecting photos as a, a family in one location. Similarly, we want to be able to go and search by date. We want to, as we start tagging the content, we want to be able to tag in the first place, but add metadata so that we can search, um, name things, group them by event. Like there's some, they look like they're disparate pictures, but they're from the same event. And I'll let the kids figure that out. Yeah, uh, they're old enough; they can do it. Um, but what? But that's the important thing. It's not just putting them in, uh, putting them in order by uh, by date uh, or file name. I want to be able to search based on the tags and the content. Yeah, look, yeah we've done it in right, with sorry. with family pictures, especially just from somebody who does you know scrapbooking. You never break up a collection of pictures because sometimes you have the data information on one picture and, and then you see there's another picture and they have the same outfit and you're like, can at least get a time frame if the other one doesn't, isn't cataloged or whatever. But yeah, um, you talk about SharePoint and, and one of his options is SharePoint. And so the first thing I go to is who's the audience for this? Is it your personal photos? Like you're saying, are these business photos that they need to use so that they have a media library that they can use within the organization that they want yeah. certain things? Yeah. And the, the one thing that I miss is they, in um, classic SharePoint, they had a photo library that already had all those metadata columns already built into it. You can still add it. The classic view, if you go in and, you know, add an app in the classic view, you can still get that photo library instead of having to build it from scratch. I wish Microsoft would put that as an option for a template in the modern, you know, because same thing, you can tag people, event dates, you know, subjects of the photo, locations of the photo, and all, and, and it all makes it searchable. Yeah. Or if you're like me, you've got a mum that was in the, in, you know, she was used to have a Kodak shop. We have, and I'm looking at it now, 574 gigs of photos. Ooh. It's around about 80,000 <clears> files <throat> because she has sat there and personally scanned in every single photo book across all the families in the histories right back to the 1700s for my aunts uncles me brother we've got it all in one big folder and all the photo videos and then we've done a you know overarching share and we shared it with each other like full rights and so we can put it in as a shortcut link through OneDrive so it depends on it really as you said depends on what you're actually looking for and she's been sitting there and she's personally on her own she's retired tagging everything getting it all structured and sorted into the family groups and then underneath there and to building out under folders. Uh, please just use columns and metadata. But, hey, you know, she's doing her thing. We're not having to do it. So even better. Do, but it can be time consuming. Do we, I mean, do we need to think or worry about doing it? Can we wait a little bit longer and then Copilot Take, will just go in and do it all? That's it. I mean, you yep. have to train it. But, I yep. mean, you should be able to. I mean, this is something we I, – I, I don't know any answers to this, folks. Um, I, there's been part of conversations where we've talked about it. I know that this is something people are talking about in the space. But, you know, we're very close to that, to be able to um, – here's a library of images. You train on a few. Here are the people that are in it. This is where we are based on that. And the AI is intelligent enough to go in and tag all the content based on the people that are in it that it can identify 
uh, some of the activities and then pull the other metadata based on the names of the files or the date of the files, be able to or do some sorting and organizing. And yeah. I think that'll be something it'll be, I think we're going to see, you know, copilot for images. I would not be surprised if something like that came out that, uh, that helped you organize and sort through your libraries of certainly personal, if not yeah. work, digital assets. There's a Just couple have... of services that already do that. It does facial recognition on yeah. your photos that you upload. And it's like, here's all the photos that have this person. And then I had, you know, like my nephew looks very similar to somebody else and it, it tagged him incorrectly and I couldn't untag it. That was my frustration. I was like, no, yeah. this is not Matthew. This is Michael, <laughs> you know, because yeah. the boys look yeah. similar. And yeah. um, it got a little bit frustrating, but I could, there is that technology is already out there with the facial recognition, mm -hmm. but like I'm getting ready to do a video for my husband's um, promotion. So I'm having to dig through all of these folders from over the years. That, where's his fire department photos? And I have it organized by year or by, by decade, by year, by month, and then event in that month. Because I, I was going to go back and scrapbook them all, but I ain't doing that no more. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do no, some that's of those I keep, digital I'm trying to photos. explain to my kids. My, my, of course, they're adult kids, you know, four of them now, but, you know, every time there's a special occasion, it's a huge hassle to do yeah, this yeah. kind of work. I mean, yes. It is. <laughs> but, um, but, and you have a bit of a brainwave. If it's in SharePoint, yeah. they really need to do, you've got your picture libraries, don't use the document library, do the picture library. You've also got the asset library. Like I know that, um, you know, if you're a comms team, you can do your asset libraries where it then helps you around the content type. It changes some of the columns and the, the metadata and the organizing and the searching. So start from those two types if you're on SharePoint. If you're on OneDrive, it's actually already got a picture library that does it, that's kind of doing it a bit more automatically for you. So I'm just kind of going, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Which one are you in? Are we talking SharePoint? Mm -hmm. My recommendation is, is OneDrive. Even if it is work-related, yeah. not personal, I, you know, OneDrive is still more flexible and it's easier than to go and share that out and share specific collections with yep. individuals. Um, so organize your hierarchy, um, however you set it up by by year, by group, by category, however that is. Especially if it's keep personal. Keep folders entirely separate and have different colored folders. Mm -hmm. Now that you can. Now that you can. Yeah, now that you can. Uh, I know that um, it's one of those things. I mean, there are, there's, I mean, there's plenty of add-on third party that you can pay for that does, you know, full on, you know, ways to be able to tag images and work with it and do it automatically and getting more into that sort of AI side of things and is it in 365 to do it what is it that's the best way to go so it'll get there Thank you.